Hi, and welcome to One Verse, where we explain the Bible one verse at a time, because I believe it's one verse that can make all the difference. Today we're going to be reading Matthew chapter 18, verses 2, 3, and 4. He called a little child to him, and placed that child among them, and said, Truly I tell you, unless you change and become like little children, you will never enter the kingdom of heaven. Therefore, whoever takes the lowly position of this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. Now, um, I come in my daughter's room, and uh, it was a little messy, I'm sorry, I tried to clean up as best I could, um, but I come to you in my daughter's room, because we're going to talk about childlike faith, I'm sure you've heard that before, that, that we're, as believers, as Christians, as followers of Christ, you need to have childlike faith, um, but what does that mean, and what, what does Jesus mean that we need to be like children in order to enter the kingdom? So I think one thing, and I'll break it down into three parts. First, a child, we need to have like a childlike trust or a childlike faith as we've heard. And what that means is that for my own children, they trust me as their father to provide for them, to be there for them, to play with them. <laughs> Though they trust me as their father and that they like, I know that you're my dad and that you're gonna be there for me when I call at night, you're gonna be there for me when I want to play. You're going to be there for me. I know and I trust you as my father to provide for me. And Christ is saying that if you want to be a follower of him, if, if you want to follow the Lord Jesus Christ or follow God, you need to have that childlike trust and that you trust the father is going to be there for you. You trust that he's going to provide for you. You trust that he's going to play with you and that he likes being with you. I think the second thing that it means is having childlike humility. And I know if you have children, you know you're working on humility with your children is, is incredibly difficult. Um, but what it means in, in your faith to have a childlike humility is understanding that the Father is the one who is in authority over you. So my children know that I am the authority over them and that my wife is the authority over them. And my children understand that like I like they want to take control, but they know they don't have control. And, and, and having that childlike humility is important for as Christians as well to say like, we may want that authority, but we know it's the Father who has that authority. So we need to come under His authority and humility, just like we want our children to come in under our authority as parents. We also need to come under the authority of the Father as, as followers of Jesus Christ, right? So, we, so having a childlike humility and humbling ourselves and saying, Lord, you have the authority, not myself. And that, that is incredibly hard. Just like it's hard for our children, it's hard for us. And the last thing is having a childlike obedience. So again, if you're a parent, you know how hard it is to have your children obey you. Um, it probably is never going to ever fully obey you. Um, but the goal is that when I tell my girls what to do or what not to do, I do it not because I don't like them. I do it not because I don't love them. I do it not because like, I have this resentment towards them. I do it because I love them. I do it because I want them to be safe. I do it because I want them to grow up to be strong women of faith. So when I tell them what to do and what not to do, I'm doing it for their benefit. Regardless if they know it or not, I'm doing it for the benefit because I want them to grow up to be Christ-like women. I want them to grow up and, and continue to follow in obedience to the Lord. So when I tell them what to do or what not to do, I'm doing it out of love, out of kindness and generosity. And I'm not a perfect parent. <laughs> and, and they're not perfect in their obedience so at, uh, also as well. But the imagery is there. That imagery is there for us and our obedience to the Father. That when the Father tells us what to do or what not to do, He's not doing it because He doesn't love us. He's not doing it because He's mad at us. He's doing it to protect us. And He wants our lives to flourish. And our lives flourish when we come into the obedience of the Father and we obey Him. And when we obey the Father, we watch us as we continue to grow and develop to be strong men and women of faith. And the last thing is that we leave um, as a parent, I leave a great impression on my daughters. Just like the father needs to leave an impression on us. So, the impression I leave on my daughters, um, I might look like this to them. 
and my wife might look like this to them and uh, that's the impression we leave on them um, and we want to look like our father heavenly father in heaven and the impression and how we leave an impression on others by being transformed and changed by our father I hope that this video was an encouragement and a strength for your faith.